Hey guys, Janae here with Janae's Got a Gun. Today's episode, we're gonna talk about bags. I wanna go into a little bit about why it's important to have a bag and the importance of what a bag does for you, especially in the precision long range game. So my first bag that I really started out with when I got into this game of precision rifle shooting long range in the competitive area was the run and gun made by Short Action Precision. Great bag, has a lot of features, and I use it as a rear bag as well as a front support on barricades, rooftops, all sorts of different things. So I used it under the rear of my gun for good support. And a, a wise man, or maybe not so wise once, told me you take it and you squeeze it like a titty, which, you know, I don't really squeeze titties, but I kind of got the impression of what I should be doing. And so I use this and you take up the slack and squeeze it like a titty to get what you need to get really good support, to get stable, get on position, and make a shot. The good thing about this bag is that you can use this on your gun. You can take it and it has this side that has like, um, I don't know, grit, whatever you wanna call this. You put it around the front of your bag, you can put it around your scope and you can attach it and you can go onto any type of barricade or anything and it has this non-stick so you can use it and load into it. I love this bag. This was the first thing I ever used. It took me two years of a lot of shooting to be really comfortable with this. But then after a while, I realized it wasn't enough. So I had a friend and his name was Solomon Mananasala and he made this bag, it was homemade. He made it with the, I don't even know, fairy dust, unicorn, I don't know what the ah. he made it with. It had a whole bunch of sand in it, something that made it super heavy. So it was a really good rear bag. So you could use it, same thing, squeeze it the exact same way, and it worked really well. However, he taught me one day at a shooting competition that he could put it on a barricade. You put it lengthwise at all times, and you can put your gun on top of it and get it super comfortable. And you can get it right there and make it steady just like this. So you basically can get on your gun. You don't need to do anything to it, except run the bolt and move it. So I wanted one of these and I was like, Solomon, can you please give me one of these? He was like, no man, it's my own special thing. It's magic. I was like, okay. So I made my own. And as you can see, it's an A. I'm an A, it's an A. So I made my own. I sewed it myself, I put in my own magic fairy dust, which was not enough. I thought that like all my little features that I put on a little thingy, a little this, I put a little quick detach so I could put it on the you know, rear of my gun so I wouldn't lose it. I thought all of these magical things would be as cool as Solomon's, but they weren't. It wasn't enough, the fabric was a little bit too thick, it didn't have all the magical features. So I kept bugging him and eventually one day he sent me my own and I felt like it was like Christmas. And then eventually, Short Action Precision um, took his idea and they started making their own. And they made it with a super cool little handle so you could take it everywhere with you. This is my preferable bag. I've been using it now for two years and I love it more than anything. But there's also a lot of great bags on the market that do a lot of the same things. So one of them is, this is probably one of the more popular ones out on the market. This is the Game Changer. It was um, originally made by Rezo Precision. I believe now Armageddon Gear makes it exclusively. And this one's amazing. It kind of does the same things. So it'll be a great rear bag. So you can take like this part of it, like this little skinny part, which by the way, a good friend of mine, um, Zev York, who a lot of people know his wife, Fiona, Team Fee, he calls it the moose knuckle. I'm not really sure why, but maybe you can all figure it out. So this can be used as a rear bag. Same thing, squeeze it as you will a body part. You can stick it on barricades. Um, I will say that it gets the same flat surface as the Solus sack. It'll do about the same things. Look, I can get very stable, same thing. I don't even have to touch my gun. I can barely look at it, pull the trigger, and it's doing nothing. Um, the only thing I will say about this one as opposed to the solo sack is because of its shape and design, I can put it on something very skinny, like a little rail like this. Because it can wrap around something very skinny, 
it will be able to be a little bit more supportive than the solo stack for something in that situation. But it's, it's, it's not a whole lot different. It's more or less your preference and what you practice on. Good Lord, this thing is terrible. One of the next bags that I think is great, this is a wee bad bag, and I'm not sure what the technical term is, but I believe we all call it the pump pillow. That could be the right name. It could be something we made up. The best practice I've seen for using this pillow is to use it like this. I'm, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna put it on my left arm. It's gonna take up the space I need for positional stuff. So when I go to use my gun positionally, I can take it right here to take up the space between my arm and my hip. So when I go to shoot, instead of having to support my gun freehand and having this empty space where you're trying to put your elbow to your hip, especially for a girl who doesn't have as much space or has more space, excuse me. And then when I go to kneeling, it's the same thing. I'm gonna put it on my left knee, left arm. I can get extremely stable right now. I'm gonna get even extremely more stable. I hope you don't see my socks right now. And this one is extremely important when you get into positional and when you get into rooftops. Rooftops are amazing. You're gonna use your front bag, you're gonna use either the game changer or you're going to use the solo sack as your front support and get very comfortable with that. But then you're gonna use this to take up the rear space as a rear bag underneath it. These are probably my favorite bags. Um, I think that when it comes down to it, it, you need to go to the range that you're shooting at. You need to talk to people that you're shooting with and the shooters out there that are a little bit more experienced and try them all out. I will say that I am, I wanna be upfront, I am sponsored by Short Action Precision. That's not the reason I've talked about their bags. They only sponsored me because I've bought their stuff and I've loved their stuff and I've believed in their stuff. I love all of these bags equally it's a matter of what you use, what you get comfortable with, and what you're trying out. So the best decisions I can say is try it out. They're all gonna be good for you. It's a matter of practicing, dry firing, and do what you think you know is best. Thanks for watching, Janae's Got a Gun, you mother <coughs> piece of <coughs> Like, subscribe, all of our links are down below. Peace out, <coughs> Jason.